Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all feeling strong. And I also hope you can hear me over the wind. It's very windy here up on Pule Hill, which is just above Marsden in Huddersfield. I hope you can also hear me above the noise of my jacket. <laughs> that is an issue. So we're on Pule Hill and uh, we're visiting the Stanza Stones. There are six Stanza Stones. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about them in a moment. just to let you know I am directly above the Stanage Tunnel. The Stanage Tunnel runs directly underneath me. You can see the breather holes uh, behind me, them like uh, chimneys there, the breather holes. And many hundreds of feet below ground is the Stanage Tunnel and it runs all the way. You might be able to see that building in the distance. That's an old pump house. There was a massive steam engine in there many, many years ago, and that helped with the creation of the Stanish Tunnel. So the Stanish Tunnel runs directly underneath here. So uh, just thought I'd let you know that. Yeah, the Stanza Stones. We're just visiting one today called the Snowstone, and that is the first one that they created. And they were created when Simon Armitage, a famous poet, uh, if you're into poetry, you will know that name. I didn't. I've been tipped off about this little walk, and it's a little walk today, but the whole six stanza stones go from here, Marsden, all the way to Ilklin. It's a 50-mile it's a walk, so that's pretty decent. That's going to be good training for my coast-to-coast. -coast. So I'm going to do all six, but not today. I'm just having a look at the first one today, so I hope you're going to stay with me. And it's just up there in this old quarry. And Simon Armitage, the poet that I mentioned, was commissioned to do six poems um, for the 2012 Olympic Games. And in the poems, he describes the surroundings and the landscape. So uh, that's basically it. Stanza Stones was a commissioned project from the Ilkley Literature Festival. We had this dream originally of putting a poem somewhere into the landscape. And um, it's turned out to be a sequence of six poems written across the what they call the South Pennine watershed so essentially from here in Marsden in West Yorkshire up to Ilkley. Each poem uh, is written about water in one of its forms or state. This is a village uh, where I grew up and where I was born. We're actually in a, an old quarry so despite the fact that these moors are you know very rugged and, and wild and, and remote it has its own sort of solitude so quite a steep climb up here to the quarry but we're here an old 19th century quarry and where i'm standing right now was the old winch house now as you can see there's a lot of overhanging rock and i hope that the first stanza stone is not underneath this uh, overhang because uh, I feel a little bit dodgy uh, being over there, so I'm a little bit cautious about that. The first stone is called the Snow Stone, and that's because the poem is about, is about snow. And Simon Armitage was born in Marsden, just down the hill, so he knows this area really well. Now, I've no idea where it is, like I say, uh, it's, it's, we're very close to it right now. I know that, because it's in this quarry somewhere, and I do believe it's over that way. The description sort of says over that way. But I don't fancy um, sort of uh, crawling around underneath that lot. So hopefully it'll be somewhere um, sensible. These poems are sort of left out at night and in the rain. Um, they're not written for a sort of specialist, you know, poetry readership in, in the way that some poems might be. Uh, they're not even particularly signposted, so they are for walkers, ramblers, randomers. Now you can see the dry stone wall behind me and that was created at the same time obviously as the uh, stanza stones. I think there was a dry stone wall that accompanied them and uh, made these little seats and these little stone benches were made apparently so that you can sit and have a rest of course and uh, maybe make your own poetry. It's really windy up here, I can't believe how the wind's picked up. Now I'm thinking it might be down here. I'm going to have a little look down here, it looks pretty safe to have a, a little nosy around there. 
<laughs> nearly blew my hat off. Yeah, so we're gonna have a little look down here. It's becoming a little bit harder than I thought. I thought I would have found it by now, especially, especially because I found the benches, so I must be very close. Yes, there it is behind me, the first stanza stone, snow. And I hope you have enjoyed the walk, discovering, finding, didn't know whether I was going to find it, but we did find it. Wasn't too difficult, a little bit more uh, tricky than I thought. And uh, when we get out of this lockdown situation, I'm going to do the full walk from here all the way to Ilkley and uh, we will visit them again on that walk. So thank you for joining me on this walk. I appreciate the company as always, or I would have been all by myself. So I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. If you have, give me a like. I upload a vlog every week. I'm gonna sit here on this nice stone bench and contemplate my own poetry. So if I don't see you through the week, I will see you in the next one. Bye. I wandered lonely. I know it's been done that.